Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Rhino 7 and I'm going to be covering uh, the three different arrays. The rectangular array, the polar array, and the linear array. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and open up Rhino 7. And we're going to go ahead and go new. I'm going to new, do new from uh, small objects in inches. Okay, first you want to make sure that you're in your uh, standard tab over here and you want to make sure that all four drawing planes are open. Okay, the first one we want to do, we want to go ahead and get a circle. Click and drag out. Just create a circle right in this general area. We're going to come over here to the rectangular array. We're going to select the object. We're going to right mouse click. Now it's asking for a number in X direction. We're going to say four. Right mouse click. Number in Y, we're going to say four. Right mouse click. Right mouse click, number in the Z direction is 1, then we're going to right mouse click, we're going to select from the center point, and we're just going to drag out. We're going to click, and then we're going to enter. Okay, so this is basically our rectangular array. We created a rec an array in a rectangular shape of these circles. Okay, that's the first one. Now we'll go ahead and get rid of these by selecting them, hitting delete. The next thing we want to do is go to the uh, polar array and go to our circle tool. I'm going to go ahead and click, drag a circle out. I'm going to come down here to polar. We want to go ahead and select the circle, right mouse click. It's asking for a center of polar array. It's going to be here. So we'll click. Number of items we want to. Uh, Let's just say 8, right mouse click. Now the angle to fill is what how far you want it to go around. The angle to fill the first reference point, so we want to put in 360, and we want to hit enter. Then enter to accept. Okay, now we have our three, four, we have our, our objects there. Okay, that's going to be the polar array. We'll go ahead and drag a marquee around those, hit delete. Now the last one we're going to do is going to be the linear array. And we'll go ahead and drag out a circle. I'm going to change this here to the last one, which is linear array. I'm going to click on the object we want to array. Right mouse click. It says number. I'm going to go 4. Right mouse click. Reference is going to be the center point. And we're going to drag out. Click. Now we're going to right mouse click to start the function over again. We're going to drag a marquee around all of these. We're going to right mouse click. We want four. Right mouse click again. And we want to go from center point down. Click and then enter. Okay, so that's going to be our um, linear array. So we'll go ahead and uh, select the marquee around those. We'll get our pointer tool. Control A, we'll hit the delete. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on Rhino on the three arrays, the rectangular array, the polar array, and the linear array. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video, got something useful out of it, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.